What's going on everybody? My name is Michael Young, also known as Forever Young. And mostly what we talk about on this channel is spirituality, um, just good vibes, positivity, uh, self-motivation. I try to motivate you guys. I guess I'm, I guess I'm motivational. I, I would think so. I would think so. Yeah, I would, I would definitely think so. But today, I want to talk about something that a lot of you guys may have on your mind. And um, I know I had it on my mind for a heck of a long time until I was finally like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull that trick, bam, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and I'm just gonna go all in and do it. So I'd like to thank all of my new subscribers, all of my continued uh, subscribers, my OG subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of content that again is uh, different. You know, we're all 2020 has been a freaking, you know, we got these things. It's been a heck of a year. We've been kind of uh, uh, locked down, as they say. But, you know, I want to be honest with you. I want to be truly honest with you. The times are changing. And as far as what we used to live in, um, I believe, this is what I believe, I don't know this for sure, this is just how I feel, that we are going in a direction um, that is how it is now. We're not going back to the old, you know, 2019 and below. Now we're doing um, things a little bit more tech savvy, especially in the workplace. So this video is going to be helping you grow or start your YouTube channel um, during quarantine. You know, right now is literally the best time to do it, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, and before I get into the details and you know steps on how to do this, this is all going to be laid out to you step by step. So with step one being the first step you need to take, and two being the next step, so on and so on. So the later we get into the steps, um, the more specific and helpful and more, um, what am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? The more um, detailed the steps are gonna be. The first couple steps are a little bit easier, right? Um, but as we get a little bit further in the video, it's gonna be a little bit more detailed again. So stick around for that. Is there anything I'm missing? Just a little bit of backstory for, uh, about me. I've been doing YouTube. I started originally in 2018. I only started for about a month, maybe two months. And uh, I guess, as you could say, I fell off, so to speak. I just kind of stopped. Life hits you, right? And you have all these excuses why you can't turn on the camera and talk. Fast forward to last year, two years ago, I got a little bit of a spike. I had a video that I think it got about 24 or 20,000 views or something, which gave me about 800 subscribers, which really made me believe like, wow, this YouTube thing, wow, that was 800 in one video that quick, you know? When I saw that YouTube was actually something that you could actually do and be successful in. Um, wow, I was like, okay, let me try it. May this year, around May, June, July, I started getting back on the horn and I really started taking it more seriously because this has always been something I wanted to do. And I had another video just recently, probably about two months ago. Um, I think that is about at least 20,000 views now. And again, it was just a video from the heart, raw, and I was like, wow, if I can just, in this video, by the way, I'm at, I went from 850, 838 subscribers to now I'm at 2600 uh, and counting. It's crazy because at the time I wasn't monetized. I didn't have any, I didn't have a thousand subscribers yet. I got the thousand subscribers in a day once I dropped that video. And then after that, I got to 4,000 watched hours because that is another qualification you need to get in order to get monetized. I got that in what? I think literally six to seven weeks and that blew my mind. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. So without further ado, I have some notes here. I wanted to make sure I came with it and I came with some actual stuff substance so you guys can really grow your channels. I want you to succeed just because I know that anybody can do this. So without further ado, um, Buckle your seat belts, maybe grab something to drink. Definitely grab a pen or a pad. Um, keep that mouse at hand so you can rewind this because we are going right into this. How to start and grow your YouTube channel during quarantine. Now, the first thing, 
the first thing you need to do is you need to identify who you are and what you bring to the table. Now, that means a various amount of things, but to keep it simple, what do you like to do? And what do you feel like you not only like to do consistently, but thrive in, right? Because if you can figure that out, then it makes not only your YouTube channel grow easier, but it makes you able to throw out a lot of content, right? I don't know why I'm like thinking so hard about that. It, it makes it easier for you to throw out much more good content because you're in a space that you actually like. So it's very important to uh, not only find that, but find within that how you can contribute. Because if people are trying to look for your purpose in life, it's finding what you really love and what you're great at, and then finding out how you can contribute by that. And a lot there's a lot of people on YouTube, and I'm not trying to uh, be rude or put anyone down. There's a lot of people on YouTube that are very successful and a lot of, not just viewers, but YouTube creators can vouch for me on this. There's a lot of people that are very, very successful, but they give no um, substance. They're not giving any, um, they're not giving you any value in their content now. Uh, this is why it's very important for you to find your genre. It's important for you to find your niche, right? Where you fit in, okay? Once you figure this out, this is your first step, okay? After your first step, finding your niche, okay? You gotta find that sucker. Get the binoculars out, you know what I'm saying? Really take time, you know what I'm saying? Take the time to find it out, okay? So uh, after that, okay, once you find your niche, now it's time to comp or it's time for you to look into that niche and see what other creators are doing, right? So this is where, um, again, this is step by step, right? Each step is chronological, right, in order. So this is where you wanna find five to 10 content creators that are in your space, that are in your topic, and you want to study them, right? You wanna first turn on the notification bell so you know when they're dropping content, and I'm gonna tell you why just in a second, because that is a pro tip. It is crucial, and it was crucial to my growth. I didn't just grow um, all of a sudden um, and start a, not only this growth, but really building a fan base. I have really genuine, great people who are here um, just to not only get motivated, but just to see me Grow, and I love it, you know, and this is this is the key to it. So you don't want to follow five or ten Huge big youtubers, right? Because they have a little bit of a different path right now that they're taking versus you If you're starting your YouTube channel or if you have a hundred subscribers What you want to do is find people that are near you that are in that same niche or niche whatever the heck you say it, right? So um, for example, if you have a hundred or zero subscribers find people that have a uh, thousand or two thousand or five thousand even or even ten thousand and look at you know the videos and the content that they're dropping and make sure that okay these people are not only um, successful with subscribers but you can see that they're growing by their views by their likes by the way that they're engaging with their audience because when you're able to find people that are doing this you're able to mirror what they do, right? And I'm not saying you're able to copy exactly word verbatim how they're doing what they do, but um, shout out to Napoleon Hill, the book Think and Grow Rich. Um, all this information that is at our fingertips is for your using for you to be successful. So don't be shy to go onto other people's channels and uh, look and study what they do and incorporate it in how you grow your channel because I'm telling you, it'll really make a difference. And that leads me to the pro tip right here, is when you turn that notification bell on, it's so crucial, uh, especially you know when they're, when they're big YouTubers, because uh, a secret tip that, I, don't, I, I never found this, I, I was the only one, I was like, oh man, I can do this and this would work, is if you have YouTubers, especially YouTubers that have a, a big audience, right? and you see exactly when they post and you see the topic that they post and especially if it's a topic that you can speak on, right? You can shed some light and bring something to the table to your audience, right? Do that video, do it right there. Don't, co obviously don't copy what they're saying and how they're saying it, 
make your own evaluation about the topic or whatever it is and come from the heart because that's how you grow a true fan base. But use the title, right? Use the title and uh, make sure you're using those key words when you're first talking in the beginning of your, vid of your video because it's very important for you to let your audience know from the get-go what you're talking about so they know um, where you're coming from and so they stick around because if you're here and you're just gonna run your mouth and you're not getting to the point some people might just you know um, just click off your video because we have very short attention spans um, not me because I'd be working on my attention span but as a human race some of us have very short attention spans and we want to see something blow up or something shoot or anything you know I guess I'm just talking about Americans but you know other people do it too so again as soon as your favorite youtuber or youtubers that are successful in your space are dropping content you want to drop some content like BAM right after uh, within the hour is great and then it's gonna lead into our third tip right one helpful tip which very few youtubers are gonna share with you again is and I'm not putting anyone down I'm just being honest because I didn't find this out until very recently is you want to get a software and a lot of the times the software is free but it's an SEO software. SEO is search engine optimization. Thank God I just remembered that, but that is what it means. And what, it, what that means is it helps you search how to optimize and how to grow your channel. In other words, how to grow your channel, not only for your channel as a whole, but each individual video. And the good thing about this is that um, I think you can do this for the free version of the app. Uh, there's an app that I recommend, it's called TubeBuddy, that's what I use. This is not a sponsored video, but this app is great just because it not only tells me what, how to title my video, um, it gives me better titles, but it tells me where my title ranks, right? Where my channel ranks. Um, but getting back to the title, where that ranks is important because the higher and the better we can rank our title of our video, um, again, with having to do with our topic of the video, the better it's gonna show up on that logarithm that everybody talks about on YouTube. So when you get to Buddy, you're able to see not only how to title and where it ranks, but where to tag. Your hashtags is very, very crucial. If you don't hashtag your video, your odds of other people, especially new eyes seeing your video, lowers way down to the ground. So. TubeBuddy is a great tool not only for you to find hashtags that correspond well for your topic, but also for your channel. Because when you use this search engine, search engine tool, what you're doing is you're able to see if these tags are gonna be competitive for your channel. And I don't wanna get too far into that, but that is literally the, the, the basis of what this does. But one also pro addition to this is that you're able to see what your favorite YouTubers or the people that you are um, watching and aspiring to be, you're able to see how they post their tags. You're able to see exactly their hashtags. And this is not, you're not gonna get this information. This is really key in order for you to be successful, especially as you're trying to get a thousand subscribers and you're trying to get 4,000 watch hours and get monetized because I'm telling you, when you see, oh, okay, for example, I'm in the spiritual space, um, but obviously I like to do other things like this. I wanna help everybody, you know, and this is a nice and, 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 and broader way to do that. So, but for example, when I'm in the spiritual space, if I see somebody, for example, Ralph Smart or Spiritual So, if I see them drop something that is relevant, especially Spiritual So, and I'm giving you too much info, but, if you're in this video this far then you're getting the goodies if I see them drop something I'm going to not only drop something if it's relevant to me and if I can actually give you guys something valuable I'm not only going to drop something right then and there when they drop it to gain that traction just because the lot you're gonna go into their logarithm so to speak in a way you're gonna go and you're gonna gain some of their audience you're gonna gain some of their attraction if you talk about the same topic and you especially title it the same way you're gonna get that and you're gonna grow your channel 
but you're gonna use their hashtags. I know Spiritual So, he doesn't use hashtags, but Ralph Smart does. Some other YouTubers that I use, some of the hashtags that have taught me that will make my channel grow, do. You're gonna take their hashtags and you're gonna put them on your video. And I guarantee you, you will go from 10 views, 20 views, 50 views a video, to 80, 90 views, 100 views in the first hour of you posting that video. Again, if you follow this formula, and I'm telling you, this is literally, look at my channel, look at some of my videos in the past, you can see all of a sudden something happened, and I'm telling you right now, this is what it is. So, after you have all this data and all this information, hopefully you feel pretty prepared because it's time to start, right? It's time to start um, and it's really important and we kind of talked about this already, but it's really important for you to uh, start with topics that are going to uh, satisfy not only your your audience, because your audience is different, right? I know my audience is going to love this energy just because I know my audience and I wouldn't and I know how to cater myself and every day when I read the comments especially when you're in the comments you figure out by the way last video guys phenomenal comments phenomenal um, but you'll the more you are in and in, in and invested in this YouTube especially you, this is your business then the more you're gonna know how to cater to your audience so you not only want to get uh, topics that cater to your audience so hopefully you figured out what your passions are, what your passion is, what your niche is, but you want to also pick events or pick topics like I'm doing right now that get out to the broader, <laughs> I'm going to do some editing in this video, but get out to the broader uh, masses because that's very important, uh, especially when you're growing a smaller YouTube channel and you're trying to, uh, you know, get those subscribers, get those watch hours, okay? Um, but the mindset has to be and a lot of my a lot of my OG subscribers a lot of my new OG subscribers know this you have to believe in yourself and I know this is um, cliche but it's ironic how the cliche stuff is actually the stuff that is really true you have to really go for it and believe in your message and how you portray it because all of us have a special ability about us we all have great things about us and when we understand that and truly believe that, we're able to share that, you know, and you'll you'll really be surprised yourself. So I was like, damn, I'm surprised right now because I, I feel like this, is, this video is going good. Consistency is key. At least once a week you wanna post. Um, myself, personally, I like to post two to four times a week. Usually I'm in that three to four times. Uh, but now, uh, you know, you at least wanna post one time a week. And again, you wanna make sure you're coming with quality content, you're coming with substance. You're not just here for a check, but at the end of the day, again, the more you invest and the more you take this seriously, you will reap benefits. Again, I just got monetized October 16th this year. If you look into, I might put a, a, a pop up here. I think I'm at $4 and some change. Although I don't get that money until I hit a threshold of 100 bucks, it's still very motivating, right? It's still exciting um, just to see this flower, this dream start to blossom, right? This fruition um, or this start to come into fruition. Let me stop talking. The haters are gonna come. My honest suggestion, don't even bat an eye, man. Don't even worry about the haters because they're just confirmation that you're doing great their confirmation that something is going on in their life that they haven't found happiness in. Because I know from my own experience, I don't ever want to come onto anybody's channel and promote any hate. I don't want to mislead anyone. I don't want to put anyone down. The only time I'm going to come at you with some, some red energy is if you're being rude or you're putting others down or you're being harmful to myself or my peers. Other than that, there's plenty of space in this world. So if people want to hate, it's just confirmation. Genuine, authentic content. I think we touched that base. You just want to make sure you're really giving people something, whether it be motivation, whether it be tutorial, whether it be a how-to, whether it be a personal story that you went through something and this is how you got through it. Uh, fitness, uh, just make sure you're coming with 
not every time. Sometimes you can just, you know, have a Q&A. Sometimes you can just talk to the camera. But you want to, especially if you're taking this seriously, you want to come with some valuable content. It's important for thumbnails because YouTube, they give you crazy thumbnails. They give you like three thumbnails. It's important for you to do, make your own thumbnails. And I know that sounds intimidating, but it's actually very easy. And I'm going to tell you two ways to find uh, the actual picture of your thumbnail. One is to go through the video that you filmed and find uh, something that you were doing or a way that you were acting that complies or that goes along with your title or with the topic of the video. That's one thing that not only YouTube likes, but the people that know you and watch you and the new people who may know you or who don't know you and who may want to watch you. It's important for them to see that thumbnail and be like, oh, this looks interesting. Uh, the way that, you know, they're coming like this, like how to, how to hit a tennis ball and I have a racket and I'm getting ready to crank that. You know what I'm saying? So think creative like that. And the best way for you to, you also want to throw some text. You also want to throw a little bit of text though onto your, uh, onto your thumbnail, right? And the thumbnail again is what the people see when they click on your video, that little picture. Okay. The best way to edit and to throw text on your thumbnail, okay, is an app or a site called Canva. Very, very easy site. A lot of people have trouble sizing the thumbnail. All you need to do is to type in on the main page of Canva, uh, YouTube thumbnail, and then bam, the actual format and the layout comes up there. All you need to do from there is when you find the picture that you want, whether it be looking in the picture from the video that you shot, or whether it be taking your own picture after you film the video or while you're uploading your video, you can take your own picture, right? Once you take this picture, make sure you take the picture in hot dog mode if you have a phone, um, if you're using a phone, right? If you're using a camera, just make sure it's in landscape mode, which is hot dog mode. Yeah, no, hamburger, hamburger mode. <sighs> hamburger mode, long ways, which is landscape, okay? So make sure you take that picture that way when you go to edit it in Canva. And the way that you're gonna do this is, if you don't have Apple, I don't know. Uh, I do know Microsoft and Windows, but I'm, I'm doing it for the Apple people, Microsoft people, you guys are smart, you guys have figured it out. Take that picture that you took, okay? Or, again, if you're looking through your video, find where you wanna find your thumbnail in the video, screenshot that, that's important. Take that picture that you screenshot it or you took, um, airdrop it, to your computer, to your MacBook, or to your, yeah, whatever computer you have, or send it to your computer. And then from there, upload that, very easy. You can drag that from your computer and drop it straight into Canva. Bam, you can go with whatever text you want. Um, my advice is to pick something clean, something simple, and something that is, again, going to make sense to your audience when they read the title, and then when they also read and, and know the topic. I edit my videos, because editing is very important for the most part. Um, a lot of my videos I don't edit, but as I start to grow my channel, as you see on this video, I have added editing into the video because when I like to edit, it is time consuming, but you find that you get a lot more value um, and just better videos when you edit. You're able to put the topic up or you're able to put little things up and visuals up that people really like to see. So where I edit is iMovie. I just edited in the standard iMovie, whatever version is out. Um, but I know there's a lot of great editing softwares out there. You're just starting. I wouldn't get too bent over on, oh my God, I have to have the greatest software. And also I want to stick this in. Use your phone. You have an iPhone, use your iPhone. You have an Android, go get an iPhone and use an iPhone. No, you can use an Android too. Just make sure you have a, a pretty decent camera on your phone. You don't know. You don't need to go and buy outlandish. Um, I'm looking at my cat over there. Outlandish, crazy equipment. Even though I just bought and spent twelve hundred dollars on a camera that and lenses and and materials that I don't even use. I'm not even using it right now. I know I will in the future. I just use that example to show you guys. You don't need that to grow your channel. You can do it with an iPhone. There's people out there with millions of subscribers. 
that have an iPhone and that's all they use, okay? So um, last but not least, guys, I just want to really uh, give you my most genuine, honest statement when I say, send it, go for it. If I can do it, if people literally, I know you see and watch YouTubers on video that, and I hate to say this, I'm just being honest, I don't hate to say this, but I'm just being honest, they're not good, or they don't give you value, they don't give you anything that's gonna help you. If you see them succeeding, and you know that you can bring actually something, a craft or something that people can actually use, that's that's a one hell of a reason right there why you should. Um, but if I can do it, you can do it. I know that's cliche, but it's so true because there's been times where I've doubted myself and that doubt, all that doubt is, is a practice habit. <clears throat> all that doubt is, is me just putting myself down over and over and over again until I started saying, you know what, I'm gonna start putting myself up over and over and over again. It starts to click into place and then your mindset starts to go, I can do this. And then all of a sudden you start to do it. Really follow these tips and I, I kid you not, these tips work, okay? These tips really work. I wouldn't, um, I don't do videos like this, uh, especially this long, just because I know you guys have time that um, is precious just as I, but I wouldn't be on here telling you all this and putting this video out if I didn't believe in this. So um, do this, tell me what you feel, comment, um, like this video if you got any type of value out of it, share this with friends if you think friends may get some value out of this. Um, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this or more, more motivational videos. I have some topics and some ideas that um, that are just gonna keep coming, you know? Uh, this is what it's about. We never are finished. There's always more to do and um, yeah, it's about enjoying that journey. So if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you guys for listening. Anything else? December is the most busy time on YouTube. It's, I'm doing this again. I don't know why I'm doing that. December is the busiest time on YouTube. It is literally uh, where the most watch time, views, everything is. So, especially right now, while you have the time during this quarantine is the best time to jump on. You have the time to think and go for it. I believe in you. Now, uh, the universe believes in you. Now, all that needs to believe in you is you. So again, I uh, hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Michael Young, forever out. Peace.